This week, the United States and the Eurozone will disclose initial GDP estimates for the first quarter of this year. The data is of the greatest importance, as investors are deeply concerned about a possible recession in the global economy. The expected data may either elevate or fuel these concerns. The United States is going to publish its GDP figures on Wednesday. Until then, the macroeconomic calendar is not reaching events. That's why the market is likely to remain stagnant in the first part of the week. Let us focus on the trading charts. Last week, the euro-dollar pair was trading within a narrow range formed below the control level of 1.10. Such price movements could be defined as an accumulation process. It's uh, quite possible that the existing stagnation will be soon replaced by speculative activity. In the event of this, the price consolidation above 1.10 on the daily chart will boost the volume of long positions. This, in turn, may allow the pair to reach a fresh local high of the midterm trend. However, if the price settles below 1.09, the correctional movement is likely to continue. In other words, a deeper drop in the price may lead to the continuation of the current correctional movement. Meanwhile, the pound sterling showed a downward activity, but it led to only minor changes. The pair continued hovering within the sideways channel of 1.2350 and 1.2550, testing the lower limit. Traders continue to apply two main strategies. One strategy is based on a rebound, whereas the second suggests a breakout um, which may determine pounds uh, to enter and leave the market. A rebound method is used when the price approaches a particular limit of a range and rebounds from it, and this strategy allows traders to enter and leave the market, taking into account particular price levels. And the breakout strategy is the main one, as it indicates the price direction. It's applied when the price passed a certain level, which signals a possible change in the cycle. For now, we keep monitoring the financial market situation. Subscribe to the channel and see you in several hours. We will take a close look at the US trading session.